us this masquerade Feeling scared, every stair will cut like a blade Dead inside, try to hide behind And shake the tremors Hiding with a smile in a crowded place Emoting through the lips of a plastic face Every word just a code that screams I'm owned by terror to see what lies beneath, behind these artificial teeth, through the guilty strings this mask controls its wearer, trapped in our own disguises, got free but soulless still, our dreams are haunted by the ghosts we kill, identities of silence, in search of does games yeah one of these days i'll finally get these intros done right but uh i hope you all are having an absolutely fantastic halloween so far and uh yeah it's been an interesting morning let us all right so today we are going to be playing the fun pimps Seven Days to Die, Survival Horde Crafting Game. Which, veterans of the channel uh, are distinctly aware. I play a lot of survival games on here. So, originally I had chosen to do Dead Space for today, but unfortunately I sort of burned myself out for doing Dead Space, uh, or rather um, horror sci-fi earlier on in the month. Also, as you can see, I am dressed up for the occasion. I am your guide to the occult beyond reckoning. Mad Erm himself. Yeah, I didn't have the most stuff available today, and if I could have, I would have had face paint and done up the whole thing. So instead, you get mustache wax, turban, and, uh,. My little friend right here. <laughs> Necronomicon itself. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, pop into seven days. And as per usual, our music is pro uh, provided via the Aviators today. Um, they just released a fantastic new single, Masks, which is their uh, special Halloween song that they Go and check them out on YouTube or Sound. Let's go ahead and launch. Now, I had planned originally to play this with a uh, friends, but unfortunately, I couldn't get anybody to pop in. It happens. <laughs> But uh, if you see me playing today and you would like to, um, you'd like to, uh, to to join in, 
effortless message. I have no issues with posting up. This is not going to be a very long stream today. So, uh, I'm going to cheat in a few things in the beginning, or at least if I can remember how to do it. But, uh, we're gonna go to, uh, I think because we had a game that was going before. Let's go ahead and just start from there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uhihi Territory or East Ep County. Hmm. I'm definitely going to be turning up. Yeah, let's let's just do a new one. Do a new game. And so the game name will be Halloweenies. We're going to use uh, Zuhihi Regen number. Do random World, Naves Gain. Now, Naves Gain, if memory serves, is the largest map that they have done so far. 1,144. 8,100. Never mind. East Teep County is the larger one, so we're going to do that. Uh, server visibility will be to friends only. Game password. We're going to set this up now. Um, there we go. Max players. We're, going, we're only going to be able to take eight players for today. So we're going to come here and difficulty settings. With Nomad. 24 hour cycle, 60 minutes. That's just fine. Uh, daylight length, blood moon frequency. We're going to do it at. We're going to keep it at seven days. But we're going to have the whoa. We're just gonna have them jog at night. Barrels will be able to sprint. Uh, blood zombies will be able to sprint. XP multiplier. We're gonna crank this motherfucker to max. There we go, we already have that. Player block damage, scales, player's block damage. We're gonna crank that up just so that we can cut through things a little bit easier. AI block damage. We're going to... Uh, we can leave that at under. Blood Moon block damage. We're gonna tone that down just because it's so many people. And we're gonna turn up a little bit on the loot. Respawn, we're going to drop that down to uh, every 20 days. Drop on death, nothing. Drop on quit, nothing. Blood Moon count, eight enemies max. Okay. Airdrops every three days. Okay. We will allow a little bit of cheats on here, and we want to mark our airdrops. So. Alright, I think that should do us for it. Now, for those of you who have not played this game, uh, I very much impress you to go check it out. This has been uh, one of those strange stories that originally when this came out, they billed it as being better than spliced bread. And when it came out, it was... It was bad. It was bad, bad. It was a really, really rough game. Um, but, thankfully, with time and patches, they were finally able to come around, and they have turned it into a pretty decent game. I used to fucking hate the thing, and I hated the fact that everyone was gaga over it at the time when it came out. They were just like... I don't know, just desperate for the the kind of survival that it was uh, providing, which was a Minecraft-esque sort of uh, engagement, but modern with zombies. But uh, things have definitely uh, spruced up. There has been a recent update to the game. We are in Alpha 18, uh, build 155, if you are keeping it in the And there's been a whole lot of balance, uh, ba rebalance -ish things. So from Alpha 17, they had um, 
everything was stamina heavy. You were always out of stamina. You never had any fucking stamina to do anything. But uh, thankfully, uh, the Alpha 18 has restored that stamina and made it to where that uh, things are a little bit more balanced. Your power attacks are still going to take more stamina than they would normally, uh, but you at least have a chance of making it through. Not only that, but you also have the uh, the kind of a, the neat thing of encounter zones are a little bit more manageable. So uh, people who are not playing as crazy zombie slayers can have a chance of being able to get good loot and a chance of uh, building quite a bit of So no longer can you do the old exploit from back in the day of make 100,000 fucking uh, wooden bows and get max level, but uh, at least you do have your crafting XP back and you keep up with the guys who are going out and uh, killing the zombies to keep the base safe. Uh, which, uh, of course, if you are playing this on servers, it is a great thing that you have extra players because it allows them to ma help uh, mitigate the number of zombies. that. So you will get like uh, random wandering hordes and such coming through and uh, they will track up damage and uh, blow up your shit for a while. Really frustrating. But, not that bad. Ooh, fuck. Did we start in the desert? Dear friend, the wasteland can be an unforgiving place. I found you naked and left for dead with no supplies. It looks like you crossed the duke in a bad way. Use with some help. Enclosed is a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, we might just make uh, make you a new citizen. The White River Settlement is a real, is, it's real, it's safe. Peace be with you, friend. No. Alright, basic survival is your active quest. The quest's status is displayed on the objective tracker at the top right of the stream. More information, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Here? Graphics are looking really nice. They've really outdone themselves sort of picking this up. Right, so trying to get some bullet casings. Ooh, a lockpick. That's new. I, I can't remember the last time the lockpick. So we're we're in the burnt biome, so this is not good to start off with. We're gonna start losing water rapidly, and that's bad. Oh wow, that's new textures. Why is everything all shiny now? Uh, the loot, the looting time is uh, still pretty rough. Okay, we've got some more lock picks. So I guess that they have changed it up to where you have that as a uh, as a thing now. All right, this is just given charcoal. I don't want that. I want wood. So, unlike you know things like arc punching trees doesn't hurt you, thankfully. Which, in a way, it makes sense. Like, in order to to, to not complicate the uh, the control scheme in a lot of these games, they uh, double up on the uh, the attack and use uh, as an animation or or interaction with things. We've got we've got enough right there. We're gonna need some rocks. Now, this is, these are the things that you want to do initially, starting out. I mean, there's also the whole, like, break grass. Because, uh, let's see here, if I remember right. Let's look at our character. Oh, yeah, I forgot I'm Corn Rose Jackson. <laughs> uh, yeah, he looks funky. But yeah, you have uh, just underwear in a backpack. That's that's all you're wearing. So you kind of want to come through here and break through some of these. So first thing is also craft a bedroll. Very very important. This allows you to set your spawn. So even if you die, you will come back at that same spawn point. Which is really really useful, especially early on in this game where you will be dying a lot. You do not have the best prospects. And whereas this 
this environment is uh, pretty ugh, awful for the most part. It does at least start off as uh, resource rich. So that is definitely a good thing. You have plenty of dry grass from shit along the side of the road. Gives look, You can see I'm getting a shitload of XP, which divided by three, and that's the actual XP that I'm getting for normal play. Okay, nothing in that. So we're going to go ahead and we'll put up our little... crafting menu. There we go. We want to make us a bedroll first. Ooh, hey, they've got a little thingy to show you what you want to craft first. Oh. Very easy to craft. It's just some um, plant fibers. Ten of them. Back. Right. So, once you have it, put it down on the floor. Put it back down. Right clicking moves it around. It gives you your first quest completed, which is very important. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our crafting menu and we're going to make us a stone axe, which we already have the stuff. All stones, plant fibers, and wood. So, normally I just rush through this shit, but I want to make sure to have all of my uh, shit here. So, now I need to make pants and a shirt. Easy. Just costs five of this, which, honestly, in this sort of scenario, I would probably make shoes first. I don't know about you guys, but uh, despite the fact that I grew up without shoes on, and most of the time I wear sandals and what have you, um, no, I I would I would demand shoes. Broken glass is a bitch. <laughs> so now we have to wear it, so we're going to come over here to our character panel. And I believe that goes in, yep, the shirt slot. And pants slot. So we have our poverty robes. Woven from the finest of roadside garbage. Alright, so next we have to make ourselves a wooden club. Now, blunt weapons are some of the better weapons in the game, as far as uh, I am concerned. Flame block is... Alright, so let's go ahead and we're going to run over here in this tree that we were beating the shit out of earlier. We're going to go back to uh, beating its ass. Yo, look at that. We got us a good amount of charcoal and a good amount of wood. Need some stones. We have not come across any zombies yet, which is thankful. But I really need to invest in mood lighting. I'm like looking at myself in the monitor right now. It's like, uh... Well, I, I would like that. Right. Also, a good thing to do when you are early on, start scrapping all of the junk that you get. Scrap it all into its most basic components, with the exception being bullet casings. A headlight is... Like, they've added in more vehicles to the game. It used to be you just had a mini bike, which was, like, groundbreaking. But, uh, don't have that anymore. Oil can't be scrapped, gas can't be scrapped, uh, so that, that will definitely find as you're going around a bit. And look at that. So, also I'm going to go ahead and uh, craft ourselves a primitive bow, and we need to craft one stone arrow, which I'm not sure why it wants you to only craft one, but we'll go ahead and do it. Oh, your Kuva Lich nightmare has begun. Um, I'm sorry, Warframe, I haven't had you installed in months. So, I don't know what you're looking for. Alright, so we're going to replace our can of chili. That up here. Normally, I eat out of the inventory. I don't like keeping it on the hot bar. There's not a real reason other than maybe you're doing a lot of hard lifting, hard labor work. Um, you're going to want to have bottled water on hand. Note from the new, the, the Duke of Naves game. Uh, can I open it? Uh, 
friendly reminder that you pay on time every time or there will be consequences. Next time we won't be so nice. Thanks for your gear, but you still owe us. See you soon. The do eh, fuck you, Dookie. You prick. Also, be very careful with torches. They have a spoil timer. Well, not a spoil timer, but like a uh, an amount that they are. Um, like they burn out. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. They will burn out on... What the fuck was that? Now, torches will burn out, but also they give your position away to any undead in the vicinity. That's kind of a bitch. Alright. Tired ass is going to come over here and we're going to break a rock in the hot sun. Actually, that's just coal. That's a coal mode. Not too much. There are these buildings over here, which I am concerned about. They might have some stuff. They might not. We have not looked at our uh, stuff. And it is 1031 right now. So here... Oh, hallelujah, Jesus Christ. We have gotten ourselves a, uh, that was, that was actually really, really good. That was, like, stupidly good find. Ooh, gunpowder. Handy. And a short iron pipe. We're gonna need those short iron pipes in a little while. And, uh, same for the leather and cloth that these are made out of. Leather can be used to make bandages, which are going to save your ass. And uh, leather will, um, or the short iron pipes are used for... Uh, there. They are used for making the furnace, which is kind of your... First, uh, technological gateway into the rest of the game. Oh, there's a toasty boy. There is a toasty boy. Hey, you know what? We need to kind of take care of... We need to take care of some of the zombies. Bonk. Bonk. He's an angry toasty boy. Oh, look, he's dead. <laughs> oh, uh, I think they got him? Well, I can't... can't dig him up, but, uh, let's see if I can get some of his guts. I, or rather, I need a bone. Bones are very useful. Uh, you can use them on dead bodies to collect various kinds of meats. Um... As well as fat, which fat is what you use for. So I can see, I can see some nice uh, green foliage over here. So I'm gonna start making my way this way. It, having this area nearby is kind of a nice idea, just in the simple sense of uh, we have a um, a ready supply of any coal. And there's all sorts of, like, little things like this. Hello! That's lucky! Alright, we're gonna caveman our asses back here. Hey, Dwase! What's the- what's with the bruh? The bruh. Not digging my Halloween costume? Here, we are almost there. Also, I can see a car along the road. Hello. Yes, sir. We are gonna loot the fuck out of you. Alright, what is in this sedan? Come on, baby. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Empty can. Yes, sir. Alright, we'll be able to collect water with that. Oh. 
look, did we make a full circle? That will be... Yes, we did. <laughs> okay. I'll accept that. <laughs> we made a full fucking circle. Alright. Uh, so I, I need to make a wooden frame block. Craft it. Place it. And then upgrade it. That's how you upgrade these blocks. So I need to make a basic campfire, which I would rather do. Like, huh. See, this is where it gets a little bit difficult because there's not a lot of zombies out here. Out in the uh, hot ass zone. But there's no water. Water's important. This is not Fortnite. No, sir. I don't play that shit. What are you? This is new. It looks like bismuth. Hold on. What is this? Lead. That is a new lead deposit. What? You gotta be kidding me. That's kinda cool. Not even gonna lie, that's kinda cool. Also, this means that you will be encumbered. Do not forget that. Not sure what else I'll need, but uh definitely will keep in mind all of this. Hopefully we can find a river. Let's look at our map here. We yeah, we don't have anything in this zone visible. Uh, also, can gather up some materials here. There is no default dance emote. There is only uh, swinging your fists randomly. And then walking around while on fire, as we found out uh, on another game. Uh, I had a uh, one seven-hour um, recorded session that I think we posted it up on YouTube. I don't remember. It was it was kind of fucking stupid, but we we basically played this game for an unhealthy amount of hours over on the old Saints community, and. Um, uh, me, Daft Devil, and oh, sh okay, I I can break rocks with my fists. I am mighty. Fear me, fear caveman, caveman McCornrose does not take kindly to your bullshit. Your cheeky zombie shenanigans. I'm especially sonorous today. I am not sure why, but I don't know. Maybe uh, Halloween's put a little pep in my step. Whoa! Oh, hello. You are... Idiot. Actually... Arrow... I love the fact that I have time to do this. Yeah, there we go. Later on, this would be a lot more unpleasant to handle. There we go, got my arrows back. 1200 XP for killing that jackass. Ooh, wow. My eyes went screwed up there for a second. Should have left the crawler so you could... I don't know what you mean. What are you talking about, man? More Fortnite stuff. I, I literally don't play the game. Make a campfire. Make it and place it. And also, I'm going to make a spare bedroll. Because uh, being near the shop right here, I kind of like that. Good 
job, Survivor. You have proved yourself capable with much potential. We have marked your map of the nearest White River Outpost location. There you will find a trader where you can buy and sell goods and trade stories with one of our friendly citizens. Welcome aboard. Signed, no. Okay. Is that it? I'm gonna laugh if this ain't... No, that ain't even it. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is this place? Oh my goodness. How far away is this? This is the whole map right here I'm scrolling through. There is, uh... Can't track any waypoints because I don't have any. 1.3 kilometers. Locate trader. That is 1.4 kilometers. We are tracking it. Let us. Oh, wow. That is a good ways away. I got to go through zombie territory for that, too. All right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and place down our bedroll. Just, uh,. Just to make sure. We're going to have ourselves a, a nice little camp here. As nighttime comes, we're not going to have a bunch of zombies sneaking up on us. Which, in truth, I probably should just haul ass to the zombies anyways. Just deal with them there. You may wonder, be wondering, it's like, why bother cut the grass? Well, if you got a crawler, you don't want to end up punching grass instead of the crawler whenever it's sitting there trying to take a bite out of your leg. Also, this is kind of close to the other place that we were at, so. Nazi zombies? Oh, I, I, I haven't played Nazi zombies in... Fuck, almost a decade. Alright, we'll put a cooking pot there, so that allows us to make a few things. I'm going to throw some wood in, and unfortunately it takes water to boil an egg. Instead of, you know, just frying the fucker. So, uh, yeah. I don't know why I can't just put a hot... Like, it's obviously surrounded in rocks. Crack an egg and put it on the flattest rock that you have that's been sitting next to the fire. I guarantee you, that sucker will cook. <laughs> oh, eggs for the protein. Yeah. Ugh, rotting flesh. We'll just... Lost fragments, all that good shit. And also, I want to have a... Of the to uh, 24. I believe we should have enough wood for that. Yeah, that's only eight wood. And uh, I'll chop down this tree in the meantime because it's blocking my view and I hate nature. Should be able to locate the trader pretty quickly. Yeah, that just replaced all the wood we lost. Do one more and that should uh, do the trick. Or not, hold on, I've got to repair this piece of shit. Ain't it nice when things repair instantly? I wish other games would learn that. Alright. Go. We've got uh, two trees in pocket, and uh, I'm going to grab a little bit of this stone here, just for the sake of uh, being able to make us some more arrows when we're going to need it, which don't ever, ever let anybody tell you in this game that um, a bow and arrow is a shit weapon. The bow and arrow keeps you out of more... Oh, hello. It's Cracky, the crackhead. Yeah. 
craft some more arrows. Come here, Cracky. Ugh, you got uglier. Oh no, your mom jeans. They updated you. Gotcha, bitch. Back my arrows. Last hope. Yeah, so you will get a good amount of your arrows back, but unfortunately they do break on occasion. And it's just kind of like a roll of the dice sort of luck thing. Alright, so... As it is... Uh... A box? Chest? Your storage chest, that's what I'm... Doing. Like to craft one of you? Yes, yes, uh, thank you. Just so that we can uh, put this shit down for when we come back through. Here. We'll store in it things like this pine seeds, animal fat, nitrates. Our gunpowder, we're not going to want to really carry with us. Keep the lockpicks, the brass, the iron, the oil, the gas. Um. Oh, yeah, we'll throw that in there. I want to keep, like, the main materials here. So that's, like, plant fiber, feathers, stone, and wood. Everything else can sort of go fuck itself. And we're going to want to keep these frames on us as well, because these are very, very useful. For the schematics. Cloth we'll keep. And we'll keep our arrows. Water right there. So now we've got a nice fresh inventory, nice and neat, all clean, dandy dandy, and we're going to start marching our asses out this way. So it's probably going to go ahead and like, go, it's going to get dark by the time we get there. It's already 1600 hours, and yeah, yeah, that's, that's not good. I think it ever is good. This place is a zombie infested hellhole. Which, there can be really great loot in these little ruins and stuff. Which, I have to say, I am consistently impressed with how well the fun pimps have managed to uh, do their... Uh, these, these sort of things. <laughs> Put a bit right there. I can just shimmy over the top. We're good. So I can get back out and pull the shit out with me. This will actually, will actually be a pretty good place to uh, bed down for the night, come to think of it. Oh, hello! Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, he's angry. He's angry. God damn! How much you got in you? <laughs> on! Fuck your knees! God damn, he was angry. Well, if that's any indication of what's in here, uh, not gonna be uh, very bueno. Lead fishing weights, brass trophies. Uh, we'll grab these. Corn seeds. That's it. <laughs> Oh, 
Ah, oh, shit. Double shit. Okay. Just fuck off for like two seconds. Fuck! Fuck! No! No! Oh! <laughs> I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding bad. Okay. I did not want to have to use that already. Oh, I hate you so much right now, you fucker. Alright. At least I can just rope a dope his ass like fucking Shaun of the Dead or something. God. Maybe this wasn't the best idea of a place to hold up for the night. <laughs> uh, yes, we run a uh, D and D show actually on here. Iron pickaxe. <gasps> Wait a minute. Can I use these lock picks to pick the locks on doors like this? Wait, really? Oh, that's some bullshit. What the fuck else am I supposed to do with these lockpicks? I keep finding them. Suck. Alright. Well, at least I found an iron pickaxe, which means I can, like, fucking hack down the door. Uh, I am cur I am currently running for my buddies on uh, Discord a uh, module called the Haunt as a uh, Halloween event for us. And aside from that, I just heard a zombie. Wait, maybe he's upstairs. <laughs> or they're inside of that fucking prison right there. idea. Fuck off. You stop juking me, please. Oh, thank God. Got five arrows left. Oh. Oh, fuck you, Squigs. Hey, stop encouraging the zombie. I thought you guys were supposed to be my friends! Shit. Fuck, I can hear this son of a bitch. I can hear him. 
Pod, fuck off. Don't come over here. No, no, he's just gonna be a prick. Attack the bars. God damn it, I don't- these don't grow on trees, you know. Uh, I've got about 12 left I can make. And he's making noise. Which means other zombies can hear that shit. Uh, woo! Headshot, baby! Yeah, it's getting to be nighttime. Grab my arrows back. Come over here. Up the wooden block. And we're gonna settle in here for the night. Nice and empty. I don't know why this place locked. Oh yeah, there was a uh, wall safe. That's what it was. Selling kit. That's you. Ooh, boots. Use with boots. Hey, I have shoes. I'm a civil, a civilized human being. Here's zombie attacking something. <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably that. Hold up, y'all. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of streaming right now. Yeah, you come in. I was just telling you that. Yeah. Halloween. Okay. Uh, there's more than eight in here, it looks like. Um. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, never mind. I'm wrong. Thank you. Ugh. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah, uh, apparently it is sent core dogs at Sonic. Oh. I'm sure someone's going to make a gif out of that. Hmm. I still can't pin down where the fuck that zombie is, like, attacking. That's just... Hmm. Strange. Now, let's go ahead and try and plan out a route. Now, we can try and skirt as much of this town as we can, because the town's going to be full of fucking Zeds. So, by, I guess, following this road right here, direct south. There we go. Direct south, it should put us online to meet up with the outpost. But here's the question. Do we go out and risk, um... Risk our asses running and doing this right now? Like, uh, fuck it, nighttime. 
nighttime is the right time sort of shit. Or, do we play the smart game and we wait and, uh, oh hey, got an arrow back. Awesome. Wait the long game and uh, then come for it then. Also, I don't like locked things. the girls. I am going to bash this motherfucker open. Yeah, 50 cent corn dog day. Say you don't like corn dogs? Or are you just jealous that I can eat a corn dog and play at the same time? Okay, there we go. Oh! It was worth it! It was so worth it! Holy shit, snacks! The two fucking stun batons. Some brass knuckles. And fucking think, oh my god, that was so fucking worth that. Oh my god, that is amazing. It seems I have pissed off that zombie again. Alright, so. You've got 28 rounds. So, just under two clips. This. Pussy 9 mil. It'll be loud as shit, and I never searched the sedan. Huh, funny that. Um, has some metal and glass. Okay. Melee damage 9 versus melee damage 10. Oh, yeah, these stun rods are so much better. Even though that's like a level 2. Stamina cost is 6. Stamina cost is 11. Technically the breast, the iron knuckles aren't that bad a fucking thing to use. Kind of funny. Pistol's 36 damage though, so. That's what we're looking at. And we get 17 from the bow. Versus like nothing with the uh, the other stuff. Actually, we should go about and get our level up shit. Because, let's see here, we finally have... Oh, that's the creative thing. Ah, that's right, I was going to give myself shit. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's pretend we, we're, we're going to forget about that again. Ever play Starfinder? Uh, I was in a Starfinder game for a short while. I was playing as a uh, very aggressive and angry Vesk that was um, kind of touched in the head. He got ex uh, what used to be a celebrated cop, then he fucked up and pissed off the wrong person. So he got the shit beat out of him, proclaimed dead, and sent off to um, a uh, was it a uh, experimental medical facility on Vesk One. So now he's got like wet wear enhancements. Essentially, he can like reconfigure his body like prototype. Okay, so we already have Lucky Looter basically on. <laughs> I think first we want sexual Tyrannosaurus. Also, it looks like Bill's menu has changed, at least in size. 
they remove some things? I hope they didn't. So I have five points available. I will buy... Couch potato. Gonna do... Uh, pack mule. That's worthy. And harvest more resources. Yeah, we'll take all those. Why not? Those seem great. Okay, it's officially nighttime in game. Actually, I was the the least powerful character on the party. Yeah. It seems it seems that uh, Alpha eighteen did that, Raisu. Like they've changed up a bunch. Like graphically, they've um, upgraded a ton from uh, when we were playing on your server. Well, shit. The jig is up. Time to book it, boys. We'll see what we can manage on our lonesome, lonesome road. Oh god, please tell me that's just a normal pig, not a zombie pig. Okay, it's a normal. There is a farm here, though. That is good to know. Kind of a nice night out. Almost to our destination. Cool blade mods? I don't think I came across that one yet. Another one of these fucking radio towers. Fuck that shit. Also, I guess so long as I'm being quiet as I'm moving, the zombies aren't detecting me. Like, this has been the, uh, the lightest amount of zombies I've come across in a long fucking time. And, like, I am deep city right now. Like, I am on edge like a motherfucker. Like, that is why. Keep out of his visual range, he won't jog at me. Come on. Come on, daylight! Come on, bitch! How often do I play tabletops? Uh, well, we try and do it once a week. We stream it here on the Twitch channel, uh, every time. Uh, we have also the Grand Terra game that I'm running, which is my own module that I've been writing for the last two years. Uh, that is our standard Saturday game at 3 p.m. And the uh, the conclusion of the Halloween event is uh, is coming up. That will be in the uh, same times. No, that'll be Sunday, this Sunday. And that will be at 9 p.m., I believe? Or no, 9 a.m., sorry. It fucked. I get fucked. I hope they don't, like, just throw you out of the, uh... What was it? The places now. Uh, call them. Uh, oh, shit. I'm still fucking far ways off. I hope they don't, like, shove you out of the, uh... The what's it called, um... The bunkers now. Oh, they, they finally fixed up the motorcycle? That's good. And I haven't gotten to even play with the 4x4 yet. That's still on my list. 
I haven't had a lot of time to do um, a super lot of uh, dedicated gaming to a bunch of different stuff. Like, uh, what was it? A friend of mine purchased Under Rail for me recently, and I've been playing through that, and that has devoured my spare time. Which, as it should, it's a good fucking game. Uh, okay. See, I never got to appreciate that too much, because... What was it? I think the furthest I've ever gotten in this game was... Admittedly, when we were playing that server with you. Oh, do not fuck with me, bear! Do not fuck with me, bear! I heard that- I heard that noise. Fuck you, big man Tyrone. Alright. Are we almost there? It's midnight. Oh, God. At least they've changed up the, uh... Like, the way that they, they do night and day, so it's actually like a texture swap, almost. Check this car on my way through, because cars usually have good stuff. Like painkillers and a shovel. I'll take that. Bitch, I see you over there. Oh, God. Why is this putting me through the, uh... The horrible wasteland? Oh, that's a landmine! A buzzard, I hear. Why is this settlement in the nuclear wasteland? Didn't want to do that. Did not want to do that. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> There's a big fat boy right there, too. I do not want to deal with Mr. Be Belchy. Fuck you, fat boy. Go on a diet. Oh god, oh god, oh jeez. Hear that bitch behind me, I don't want none of that. Ah, uh, my bullets. Fucking bullet tax, motherfuckers. A spare cooking pot, why not? I don't like that noise. Don't like it. I don't like green eggs and ham. I don't like it on a tram. I don't like it, Mr. Sam. You should go boink Frodo in the back room. That'll bug me. No, 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 no. Shit. Fuck. I'm not keen on. Avoidable pain, my ass. There's the fucking dogs. Do you not understand that zombie dogs are the spawn of Satan himself in this game? Only second to the fucking goddamn crows. Ah. Of course I'm fucking bleeding cuz I already used my bandage. 
All right. Spawn back. We're just gonna chill out right here for the night. At least got our XP and we didn't lose all our shit. They say I'm playing on bitch mode right now, but you know what? Fuck it. It's, um, I don't need that wooden club anymore. Other gear. Um, claw fragment will hold. The spare stun baton away. One for the shovel. The painkillers are useful. Uh, uh, because I'm playing this as a quick game, I'm not bothering with the full drop of shit. I'm just like, eh, fuck it, I'll hold on to it. Heard something. Where are you, shitbags? Are you here? I got old Sparky here. I'll fuck you up. Right then. I mean, calling what an unboxer is gonna pull from a case is kinda obvious. Yeah, the solo. Well, that's the deal. Yeah. I'm playing it solo. I I, I put up a, uh, a a call for people to play it earlier, and unfortunately, my usual audience uh, either doesn't have seven days, or they just weren't considering time. I understand it. Even though it's Halloween, uh, most people are working today. So. And keep. <laughs> fuck was that? I heard it. Best be walking on, Betty Lou. You best be walking on. Where the fucking shit? I'll fuck you up, bitch. I'll fuck you up nine ways. Yeah, yeah, you best be going back that way. Ratchet ass looking hoe. Little oh, Crenshaw Pete on your ass. I don't know, we had a few of us that were playing for a while. I know I played for a good bit. I don't like that that zombie keeps zigzagging closer to me. I've lost her. Come on, daylight, please. Yeah. Well, I mean, I already had that fucking whole deal, Raisu, whenever I ran the Minecraft server. That shit... That, that didn't feel good. I think we had people playing on it for a total of a week. Best. And then they're all gone. Then we also had um, an additional time where, like when Jeff um, pushed me into to doing a server for him and everybody else, and it was, um, initially he said he was going to pay for it so long as I did the administrative stuff, and I was doing the administrative stuff, but after, like, two months of, you know, using it, just stopped. Like, didn't pay for it anymore, it was just coming out of my pocket. And when I asked him about it, he was like, oh, just push a collection plate around, which... <laughs> What is with you and Fortnite, man? Did 
Jeff, Jeff never really did apologize for that whole bit. And I don't really talk to Jeff too much. Felt a bit used. is almost daylight so but yeah seriously what the fuck was with this thing being right in the middle of the uh goddamn wasteland like the irradiated zone like i get it's supposed to be spooky and all but that's just dumb why would you set up in there like, the only reason that this place isn't exactly optimal to use is due to the fact that we don't have water on hand. Actually, I've been noticing. I haven't found water in most of the maps I've been playing this game. Turn. Was it like when we had the uh, the giant goddamn lake next to our, uh, our road, road castle? I actually really like that road castle. That was cool when we got that all to put together. We went from that little fucking wood hut where we were just like putting mud over it to keep the zombies from digging through. No, no, I have not, do I say? Alright, it is almost. It is almost time. 4 a.m. is when the sun breaks. Zombies stop being dicks. Well, I mean, they're always dicks, but... Less intensely dick-like. We'll put away them knuckles and put away the seeds. What we all have right there is pretty... Daytime, let's get our asses back on the road then. Did they ever come up with an auto run for this? Auto run would be just after that. Ooh, look at that pretty fucking sunrise though. Ain't it just that? what kind of ore cluster that one is. Iron. See? Might be that M&M that uh, Duase has been talking about. Hey, Farmer John, how you doing? <laughs> that was worth it. That was worth it. Fucker! Ow! That hurt. Dick! Okay, so they've changed up behavior. They'll jog at you after you hit them. Extra crispy. I like this toy. <laughs> How did we never find this when we were playing? This has got to be new. Hello, I found the road. This thing is great. The only downside is that it's probably not too effective on those fucking goddamn crows. Or the buzzards, I should say. I 
Hello, darling. How are you doing today? Ow! Are you seriously gonna bleed out right now? important exposure uh, I mean Athens I don't have that tremendous a uh, a pull I don't think so like all the people that were gonna see it if I posted it were on my discord and in that stream <laughs> the most part so yeah Incredibly frustrating. <sighs> Max HP penalty? XP penalty? What? What the fuck is that? What the fuck do you mean, max HP uh, or XP gain penalty? Fuck you, game. Some corn fed bullshit. Eh, yeah, fair enough. Place where we hunkered down for the night. Fuck these zombies, I don't care. Run straight. No more tiptoe through the tulips with these assholes. We'll gather some corn though. Is useful and thankfully I haven't had to eat any of my food yet. <laughs> Fuck yo! Oh wow, they really did reduce the stat. Uh, what was it? The uh, the stamina penalty. That is really nice. I like that. Makes sense. I mean, a lot of these. I have a stamina penalty that bad. Adrenaline is a hell of a drug, as they say. As we go, and I'm feeling a little bit better about this run. I ain't gonna die this time. No, sir, baby. That busted ass house right there. Probably go into quick. Be interesting for a quick look. We don't. No, no. Get to the place first so that you have that on your map and you can go ahead and have it. Fuck is that thing? That's supposed to be a doe? That don't look like any doe I've ever seen. It kinda looked like it had a wolf head. I'm not even gonna question it. There's radiation, there's zombies. Don't question it, just accept it. Let it wash over you, let it just bask in it. Kinda like in the warm guts sitting on the sides of the road as you walk by and accidentally step in it. And your nice new boots are now covered in gore. 
Well done, Cal. Well done. Done it. Uh... You know, I really find it strange that folks are, like, thinking to, to use me for stuff, or... Oh. What the fuck is that? There's a construction zombie in there. I'd rather not fuck with him. Found another empty can, that that'll be you. Oh, it's Tyrone! And working stiff. That's that's mighty tempting. You know what? I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I heard the other zombie. Go get fucked. <laughs> oh, that does not get old. <laughs> yeah, fuck this. I know better. He's gonna get out before. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, that 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 crate ain't worth it. Nah, fuck you, snake. None of this is worth it. Everything is not awesome. <laughs> oh, why is this game so mean now? I don't remember it being this mean. Ah, Zombear! Come on, come on, come on, come on, you can make it, you can make it, you can do it, you can do it, don't hit a landmine, don't hit a landmine, just keep moving, just keep running, just keep breathing, you can do it, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, oh, <laughs> fuck you, redneck, done with your shit, and with all your shit, where's the entry? Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Talk to Trader. Welcome to Trader Joel's. There's a dog! Oh, wow. You can actually use the forges here now. That's actually really useful. You know, I've never been in a server, so I've never seen those actually used. Crash has nothing in it. Actually, I have not seen any, um... Call it things. Any Duke's Casino tokens recently. Like, the last update, they increased the Duke's drops considerably. Same thing with old cash. But I have not seen it at all, this whole play. Good lord, this place is horrible. Why would anybody set up shop here? 
French schematic. I will take that. Brass doorknob. Sure. Now let's go talk to this jackass in here, which is, as per usual, the one NPC in the game. Um, that redneck voice does not match you. Here, what we got in the inventory. That's how you use lockpicks. Hold down E and select the lockpick. Ah. Uh, the more we know. Alright, so what are you selling exactly that is... Full, shall we say. I'm willing to sell you some brass. Not sure how much it sells for. Oh, sell ten for uh, for four four dollars. I'll I'll accept that for now. I have four dollars. Like I like the the chutzpah of of what they're going for with having like this trader shop here because it allows you to sort of have like junk items that can be resold. But ultimately, you might as well because you break them down anyways. Sell the raw fucking materials. Good lord, meat's expensive. Water's just as. 80 for one stinking thing, a bottle of water? Passing nitrate, scrap armor, a juice. Get a chainsaw. Go Evil Dead on the motherfucker. So I think this is basically like the end of the, um, the tutorial at this point. Thank you, Survivor. Check back soon. I get new merchandise daily. And that is true. Oh, the other good thing about these places, it work. Good lord, you can get all the stuff here. Yeah, these are super useful. Definitely wouldn't want to set up shop outside of one of them. So there's a zombie trying to break in, but I guess they're idea was to make um, a ringing noise for anything that is generating. However, in this case, it's not really working out so well. So I suddenly feel very trapped here, which is not good because they kick you out after dark. Now there's that place right there. Could use that. Boss well, I'm surprised you never were in my Discord. At least from what I remember of uh, talking with you when I was still acti uh, active in WTF. Yeah. This is fuck territory. That's what this is. This is grade A American working poor corn fed Fuck. Ten AM right now.
Yeah, you can't even gather them bitches. Much to really scavenge here. Now I can come in here and ask for work. Jobs. Fetch quest. Further south. One buried I'm supplies. In a predicament. Could you help, traveler? It meant, but it was only in our supplies. Can keep the rest of the loot. Be warned, this courier isn't playing with full deck. So the mark on the map may be a little off. Don't forget, you're going to need a shovel. God hey. bless you, and good luck. We do have a shovel. Use that to replace the bone knife. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck it, I'm eating the fucking goddamn painkillers. The band that you left today? What do you mean? infection so it's only going to get worse until I get antibiotics great oh fuck me no I'm gonna cheat in antibiotics I don't care anti There we go. Fuck off. We're done. Back this way and hope to God that we can. Oh shit. I have to deal with that dog. And that's a there are so many zombies here. <laughs> Bitch. Sonya. Have fat, please. Give me your fat so I can make torches. No. All right, fuck you. You have to think water. All right. Go Pucci. I'm not even playing with these fucking dogs. 
I'll, I'll deal with these bitches all day, every day. Ow. this i'm i am not playing fair right now i kind of just want to play the game and explore it a little bit right now i've already been screwed on the placement and all this other stuff and i actually i'm playing this game extremely cheaty right now to begin with and the game is still kicking my teeth in this is beyond stupid I don't know what is going on with this fucking update. Like some stuff I really like. There's stuff I'm just like, what were you thinking? Hey. Well, that was a thing. Well, let's uh another band-aid shall we fucking landmines all over this place got bombed out not that not turned into fucking Bosnia someone has to prove that they have a little dick again oh well, I found the snow biome. For two seconds. Is it or... Yeah, right here's the snow biome. <laughs> There's a single, tiny, fucking little sliver of dirt right here. That's the snow biome. Oh, no, wait. Oh, that's what it is. Alright. This is the snow biome officially. It just, like, it cleared out. Yes. Berries here. I can't remember dapping me, so or not dapping me, uh somebody me. Workbench. Advanced bellows. Oh hell yes, and an engine. Happily. Take advantage of you, good sir. Got in here. Sledgehammer parts. Not bad. Not great. No. <laughs> Alright, so. Here's the approximation. Said it was buried, so. Yes, yes, your dick is indeed the smallest, sir. I will definitely concede you that victory. Where'd my shovel go? Tell me we lost my shovel. Ah! Now, I set off with a shovel, right? Oh no, it's on my hotbar. I'm just retarded and I didn't see it. Hello. Buried stash. White river supplies. Hobo stew bottle block. The fuck? The fuck did you shit heels come from? Twelve shots left. Fuck you, fat boy! Please. Time to run, time to run. And I'm down. Blech. 
Oh! <laughs> okay. I think, unfortunately, uh, for right now, that's probably gonna wrap it up for the game for today. Uh, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, if you like this game, it is Seven Days to Die. It's available on Steam, and I think that's the only distribution we're doing. At current, it is... Ooh, it's hard. <laughs> it's it's very, very hard if you're playing by yourself, but if you've got some friends, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. And it's made even better for the fact of uh, it has native... LAN support, so one of your buddies can have uh, what's it, their world that they start up and your friends can just hop in at any time, so long as it's public. Or you can private it out and it's really easy to set up, to run, to do. The game won't run while you're offline, like things like Ark and stuff like that, unless you decide to buy a server, which I don't know why you want the game to keep running while you're offline, because the game gets harder as it goes on. But, uh, but yeah. Also, I would like to extend a very big thanks to our patrons. Uh, those folks who keep the lights on here, they are, um, they help me basically every month to make it. If you would like to join them and supporting me, you like the content I produce, maybe consider throwing me a couple of bucks on Patreon, Ko-fi, or any of your uh, things linked down below. But that big thanks goes out to Angel, Avery Hillpeak, Connor Walker, Ash, Ivan Shear, Sharknet, Zero, and Zygrado Rickson. An extra big thank you to Sharknet, who is our top donor at current. But that being said, I want you guys to have an absolutely fantastic Halloween. Uh, be responsible, be smart. If you're going to drink, don't leave the party. Just crash on the sofa. Even if you wake up with Sharpie in the morning, it's better than DWI. But, uh, that being said, happy Halloween, everybody, and I will see you all next time.